what's up everybody welcome back to growing organic okay what we're doing today is we're gonna bury some food scraps so if you watched my last video on making compost this is where I dug a giant hole and I've been composting here burying food scraps along with some dry leaves and all this will break down and eventually turn into soil now right next to it here I previously dug a giant hole here as well and composted food scraps right in this area. And once I finished this hole, I moved over to here and this is what I did. So take all of your old food scraps and kitchen waste, eggshells, coffee grinds, anything from your kitchen. Um, I also include paper towel rolls, egg cartons, and then what I'll do is sprinkle this on, dry leaves over the top. So this is the carbon source. That'll allow it to break down a lot quicker. Also keep rodents out. So you can see here, it's pretty much virtually invisible once you sprinkle the leaves on it. So nobody has an idea that I'm even composting. Okay, so right here, you can see there's some green onions growing, a carrot, and um, that's because I composted right here for several months. Let me move this big rock out of the way. Let me show you. Okay, now you can see already, we do have some worms in here. Let's just dig this up. I wanna show you what happens when you bury your food scraps for several months. You can turn regular lifeless soil into rich organic soil filled with worms. I have a feeling there's gonna be a ton of worms in here. So right in this area is where I dug that big hole. Okay, there's an avocado pit that's growing. That's an avocado tree. Let's see if we can dig that one up. So all types of things will start growing See what we got so already a ton of worms look at this let's start collecting the worms wow look at that it's going to be just filled with worms so this is still breaking down you can see there's some eggshells here's the carrot look at that an old carrot it's starting to grow again. An old limp carrot. It's actually firm again. Just look at all those worms. Just in one, one little area. I don't wanna kill the worms, but just see what happens when you bury these food scraps and what happens to the soil. Okay, here's an avocado pit started growing. Definitely these eggshells take much longer. Okay, we have some grubs. See quite a bit of these grubs. So they um, help break down the soil. Filled with tons of worms. It's amazing all the things that will start growing again. The avocado pits, onions, potato, carrots. So what we're gonna do is actually, now that this these food scraps are all broken down after about six months. We can dig out this soil and use it in the garden to plant other plants or trees. But I want to dig this out just to show you guys uh, how many worms are in there, what the soil looks like after you bury the food scraps for several months. Worm is running for cover. 
We have this, an old carrot that was rotten, broken in half, started growing again. Worms are just loving it. and fill some buckets. Let's fill some buckets of our newly made homemade compost from Pure Leaf Food Scraps. So I really encourage you guys to watch my previous video on making, making compost. This is what my existing soil looks like. It's a very sandy soil with um, no organic life, no worms. No organic nutrients whatsoever. It's very sandy. Okay, this is a carrot wood tree. And right in front of this tree, there used to be a telephone pole. And they just took it out last week and then packed it with a bunch of dirt and rock. And I figured I might as well dig this dirt out and give it some fresh new soil and compost. My homemade compost that I just sifted through. This is all made from food scraps and leaves. And what we're gonna do is fill this hole. We're gonna dig out the old dirt, the really crummy old dirt. Um, it has just really no value at all. Let me show you what it looks like. Right here, this is my existing soil. Look at that. Now, roots are not gonna enjoy growing through this. There's no nutrients, there's no worms. Um, it's just sand. It's going to provide some drainage if you mix it in with your soil, but that's just about it. We dug all this dirt up. You can see, let's take a little more dirt out. So you want to just dispose of this. You know, you can take it to your landfill, get rid of the dirt because um, plants that have organic matter are going to do much better versus sandy rocky soil with new, no new organic nutrients no compost replace your existing soil so this is soil replacement now we're going to take our homemade compost which was all made for free just from leaves on the property mixed with food scraps again watch the old video on how to make compost this has been sifted through. Oh, that's looking good. There we go. Now this tree is going to explode with growth. Those roots are going to be encouraged to grow this direction. Now we're going to add three inches of mulch. Some type of dry material. Could be shredded wood chips. I'll water this real good. This will keep weeds from growing too. Once you have this thick layer of mulch, no weeds are gonna grow through here. So there's so many benefits. Check this out over here, I dug this out. Dug out a brand new hole, about 18 inches deep, 18 inches wide. So we're ready for composting in another spot. So really you could just keep doing sections every two months do a hole like this every two months and then just move to another spot.